Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? Today is Monday, April 15th, 2019. Yeah, I know. Tax day. Ah! Well, for the most part, most of you guys out there, you know, you guys are probably getting that tax refund and all that good stuff, but hey, for us entrepreneurs out there, um, or a good majority of you guys out there that are self-starters, self-employed, um, and all that good stuff, it's not so much of a good day. Um, as you guys already know, you gotta pay those taxes, you gotta pay those bills, you gotta pay Uncle Sam. You already know you gotta pay, pay that toll in order to cross that bridge. So, I decided today's episode is gonna be pretty much uh, Motivation Monday. That's it, you know what I mean? Uh, it seemed like uh, my motivational Monday video from last week did pretty good. You guys like the motivational stuff? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So, you're watching this. You're watching this early in the morning. As soon as you wake up, I don't know when you're watching it actually, but I hopefully, hopefully you're watching it early in, in the day, and um, this will help you get through it. Now, let me get off. Let me get my script. Oh wait a minute. I don't have a script. I just go off the cuff like always. Well. Today is just going to be, again, you know, just basic Motivation Monday. What are we going to be talking about today? Like, what what, um, what motivation per se? You know what I mean? Like, um, how can I put a new spin on this thing? You know, how can we, you know, create a new um, motivational topic to talk about? Well, how about this? Let's talk about the fact as to you know a lot of us out there hate Mondays you know not a lot of us you know let, let me rephrase that a lot of you guys out there hate Mondays in fact let's take it a little further you guys hate Sunday night all right you guys love Friday you guys love Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, weekend. Let's all do it. Enjoy the fucking weekend. And then once uh, Sunday rolls around, you guys are dreading Sunday night. And you already know Monday morning is like the worst day for you guys out there. Why is that? I want to know why the why is that? See, because I don't I don't suffer from that pro from that problem at all. In fact, it's kind of like the complete opposite. Um, <laughs> I love Mondays. Mondays are my favorite day of the week. Seriously, they are. Sundays are great, don't get me wrong. I really like Sunday. Sunday's probably my second favorite day of the week because it is a little bit of my lazy day and uh, because, you know, I, I even myself, you know, I, I take, um, I, you have to take a little bit of a break. You can't be working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 because you will burn yourself out. I don't give a crap who the hell you are. So Sundays is typically the day that I always kind of reserve for myself no matter what, all right? No matter what, okay? I'm just going to tell you how I roll now granted on Fridays and Saturdays you know I do go out I do have fun I do my thing but you know you guys already know I, I don't stop uploading I don't stop working I start I don't stop doing anything if I'm gonna you know go do some stuff on the weekend I plan ahead and I'm still doing some sort of work some sort of something like this past weekend you probably didn't hear from me but I was working doing a lot of shit as I normally do so with that being said Let's just go back to why you guys are fucking hating so much that you are walking, you know, that are, you guys are up Monday morning and that you guys have to get yourselves up in order to um, force yourselves, all right? This better said. Force yourselves to go to the office, to go to work, to go take care of what you got to go take care of. You know, why, why is it that you dread Monday so much? Well, the real reason as to why, and I hope you guys can hear me, but the real reason why you guys hate Monday so much out there, to tell you the truth, I used to hate Mondays too at one point. It's because you don't like what you do. You guys hate your job. You guys hate, you know, everything that has to do with um, what you guys are doing right now. So, of course, you know, when Friday comes along, or when you're getting close to Friday, you have like this humongous euphoria, you know, that comes in and eats you, you know, like in the sense of like, you know, you're free. You, you know, you're breaking away from this hellhole, this insanity. And then, you, you know, you, you spent the whole weekend doing whatever it is that you do, whatever drug of choice. And 
by drug, you know, it could just be, you know, going to the beach and spending, you know, all your money on a boat. Whatever, I don't know. The point is that by the time that Sunday rolls around, you know, a lot of you guys out there are already, like, in, in the mode of, like, man, this sucks, man. You know, Sunday's already here. It's already gonna be Monday tomorrow. I gotta... You know, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with Sunday. You know, anyways, and, and for the most part, you know, Sundays are not that good of a day for you guys. Because you guys are suffering thinking about Monday, the next day, which is kind of crazy, you know? And it's like, you know, you spend that one day Sunday, which is supposed to be for rest, for relaxation and all that. You know, you spend it tortured just thinking about the upcoming day, the upcoming week, and so on and so forth. And it, it's, it fucking sucks. I mean, I, I get it. You know, this is why I, I go through the things that I go through and do the things that I do because I don't ever want that feeling ever again, ever, 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 no matter what, under any circumstance at all. In fact, if I take two, like a few days off of doing what I'm doing, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, it's like by the time I get back to work and I get back to doing what I got to do, I'm, I'm euphoric. I'm like, finally, fuck, I get to, you know, go back to work. I get to go back, you know, to doing what I want to do. Fuck. You know, sure, all this fun was great and wonderful, but, you know, like, I don't know. I'm not a big vacation guy. You know, there was someone else that was out there talking about that. Some other podcaster, you know, talking about the whole vacation thing. I'm not a vacation guy. And you know why I'm not a vacation guy? Because I'm living my fucking vacation. This is, my life is a fucking vacation. You know what I mean? It really is, and... You know, if you're out there and you fucking hate Mondays, then there's no fucking reason that you should continue doing exactly what you're doing. You should really figure out a way to stop doing that and figure out a way to live the life that I live. And again, it's not just me, not just my life. There's plenty, plenty of people out there that live a very similar life. In fact, there's some of you guys out there, there's plenty of people that don't want to live my life. They, they, they you know, think that what I'm doing is insane um, but there's other people out there that you know you guys do enjoy um, seeing other people kind of like me and would love to live a life like this you know and it's not you know it, it's again you know like what I mean by my kind of life is just that I am my own boss I am um, the, the, the dictator the writer of my own story 100% of the time I don't have anyone else uh, writing my story. I don't have anyone else that has any kind of input in my daily life and what I do all the fucking time. No, you know, sure, life happens. You know, there's certain things, you know, that happen on a, you know, day to day or maybe week to week or month to month basis, you know, things that are out of one's control. But the reality is that, you know, outside of like, I don't know, nature, life, you know, just certain things that you can't control, you can literally control pretty much everything else. And on top of that, even the things that you cannot control, well, guess what? You can still create, you can still control the outcome. You can control how you deal with the situation. You can control so many things where, you know, right now, there's so many, so many of you out there that feel like you guys have absolutely zero control, absolutely no control over anything because the way that your lives run right now, if you... All of a sudden, you're at work and someone says something to you that you don't like and you can't say something back, that right there is control. You know, the fact that you don't have the 100% freedom to, you know, say something back because of fear of losing a job. And it's not just losing a job, it's again, losing that paycheck. If you lose that paycheck, you can't pay rent. You can't pay rent, you don't have a home. You don't have a home, you're on the street. Um, again, you don't have that money, you don't got enough to eat. You know, and it's like, it's a snowball effect. And it gets even worse if you have a family, and especially if you got kids. You, you really do feel like there's absolutely zero control in your life. And as, you know, again, and, and like, I, I totally understand that, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's uh, it, 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 you know, it can eat you alive, literally. You know, the fact that you have absolutely zero control over your life and um, it just seems to be getting worse and worse as each day goes on. But again, the reason I make these videos, not just every day, but the reason I make these videos, you know, these motivation videos, you know, whatever, the, whatever these things are called, you know, whatever you always want to call these things, it's, it's really to open your eyes up 
and show you guys that no matter what your situation is, you can still live your dream. You can still do whatever you want. You can still literally change your life. But the one thing that you have to do in order for this to happen is that you got to put in some work. And what do I mean by putting some work? Literally put in some work. This shit is not going to land on your lap. If you're not happy with your life, then you got to go out there, get on the internet, you know, go, um, you know, do some, some research, do some searching as to, you know, what it is that you would like out of your life. It could be anything. You want, you're probably a Lego enthusiast and you're trying to figure out how to, you know, monetize your Lego fandom. It could be that. Or it could be, you know, a bunch of other things. You know, it could be it, it could be anything. It could be so many things that I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking sit here and spend my time, you know, trying to you know figure out what you could possibly love out there and how you could possibly pursue it. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you to do that soul searching. It's up to you to figure out. How to get out of that fucking hole how to get out of the situation you're in how to make yourself happy how to, only you can do that nobody else can do that period you know if you ask somebody else for advice you're not really asking for advice all you're really fucking doing is telling your problems to somebody else and uh again just being more of the victim and more of the whatever instead of literally just dealing with your problem and dealing with your you know the situation at hand which is all you really got to do and um you know the reason that there's no you know blueprint for for, for me to per se you know like a blueprint for me to like kind of like put here out here for you guys is because you know the reality the reality is is that there's a million blueprints out there we've already discussed this many times before if uh, if um if someone rich and famous if someone became rich and famous and they had an alcoholic dad or they got you know raped as a child or they got beat by a you know by a you know by a, with a brick over their fucking head um and they made a success out of themselves again you know it, it exists you know what i mean like everyone has problems everyone has to deal with shit everyone has um life issues but the reality is that these situations are what make you stronger you know, maybe the reason I'm able to do all the things that I'm able to do or Gary V or anyone else out there that does the things that, that we do is because we have dealt with so much hardship in our lives that, you know, when we look at the totality of where we're at right now, it's like well, there's no more. There's not any, anything you throw at me right now is fucking cake. It's easy. I can deal with it. Sure. I have my moments of weakness like I did a few weeks ago and I have my moments of, you know, living of being human now let's see if we can get a little shade out here and um you know moments of being human we all gotta have that we all we, we you know we all we're all we're all human no one's infallible but the point is that the more you actually deal with the stronger it makes you the more you can actually achieve the more you can accomplish maybe the reason that there's so much um doubt out there with a good majority of the population that they can't do something is literally because they haven't gone through enough hardship and um and or maybe even overcome that hardship but again you know it's it's really all up to you <laughs> it's really all up to you out there see i got i got some fans out there but <laughs> anyways you know but at the end of the day it's really all up to you as to you know what i mean all right let's see we gotta cross the street it's all up to you as to whether or not you're, you're happy with your life if you're not happy with your life, then you know you gotta make a lot of changes to be happy with your life. If um, if you're happy with your life, then you know you already made the proper changes, you know, in order to, to get there. But again, it's really all up to you. Well, you know, listening to a video like mine, or Gary Vee, or whoever the hell else, you know, I put out there, or you listen to, or whatever, as motivation, all, all, that, all this really does is kind of like, you know, give you that little bit of a kick in the ass in order to go do what you got to do. But you got to already have that mindset that you want to do it. And let's just say that, you know, you have a, a day where you're feeling a little, you know, like you were probably feeling this morning. You're just not in the mood. So when you watch one of these videos or something like this comes across your social media, you know, world. And all of a sudden it, it, it gives you that boost. 
if you're in a fucking miserable state of mind, you watch something like this and you want to punch the screen. But if you're not, if you're in a great, in a very positive state of mind and you're just going through a lot of hardships or a lot of confusion or a lot of whatever it is, you know, watching things like this actually help you in some way or form because they help me when I do, you know, watch, you know, other people's videos and I watch Gary Vee or whatever and just, you know, kind of like put me back on track. You know, we all fall off track. You know, the more, the more we do these things, the better we get at them. But, you know, there's so many people out there that are still, that are just trying to exit that rat race. They're trying to, you know, make a better life for themselves. They, they know that they deserve more. They deserve better. You know, that's, I'm talking to all you guys out there. And um, you guys just don't know how you're going to achieve it. But again, you know, um, a lot of this stuff is easier. You know, it's actually a lot, you know, all, all the stuff that we need to do in order to change is all out there. It's just that we need to go out there and get it and find it ourselves. At the end of the day, you can watch, you know, motivational videos all day long, just like you can watch cooking videos all day long. But unless you actually go to the store, buy the ingredients and do the cooking yourself, you're not going to learn shit. You're not going to be able to, you know, um, keep increasing your knowledge and, and growing and so on and so forth. And again, you're not going to become a master chef by just doing one recipe one time. You got to do that same recipe one million times over. Okay. And the harshest, most horrible worst conditions ever and once you do that then okay then you know, you're pretty good you, you can you know you're, you can hack it but again you know you guys um you know you guys are just like entry-level cooks and not everyone but a lot of people are entry-level cooks and they you know get their first order in and right off the bat they are already wanting to give up and all i'm saying is that if you're ready to give up right at the beginning then again this is not for you but if you want to really maximize your life and maximize any everything that you can do with your life and you are extremely unhappy and unsatisfied right now, I would highly suggest that as soon as you finish watching this video, that you go out there and you start figuring out exactly what it is you need to do in order to make that change within your life to get to where you need to get. That's it. If you want to be an athlete, you already know what you got to do. If you want to be a chef, you already know what you got to do. If you want to be a, a, a guitarist, you already know what you got to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, even if you want to be a Smurf enthusiast, you already know what you got to do. And if you don't know what you have to do, that's why you have uh, the whole internet, all right? This ginormous um, knowledge base, you know, this giant, you know, um, thing, all right? Yeah, <laughs> for you to go out there and, um, and, and, and find what you need to find in order to get to that place. You know, we're living in a beautiful time. There's absolutely no excuses anymore. Sh I mean, seriously, anytime I hear excuses, you know, from anyone, it just, I wanna punch them in the nuts or in the face or in the whatever, you know, seriously. Because at this point in time, it's just whining, all right? Because we're living in a very beautiful time where we can do anything and everything we want. We just gotta do it, all right? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get going. I've been standing here for a while. I'm already looking like a bit of a crazy person by all the people looking at me. Um, but hey, hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Hope you guys have the most amazing Monday ever. And I hope it's a life-changing Monday. All right? And if it's not, we're going to try it again next Monday. And we're going to try it again next Monday and see how we can do this. All right? See how, you know, we can progress with this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I really love you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the love. And uh, more importantly than anything, please, please stay awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys manana. Peace.